Hello and happy Friday. Welcome to the channel. This is Fridays with Brandon and today is episode number 121 of Fluke Fridays. Well, it's December so I thought why not have a fun different backdrop so I did the video today in front of the Christmas tree and what we're going to talk about is I've got my VFD or my variable frequency drive demo tub with me today and we're going to go over common measurements you can take with a multimeter on a VFD. I had a viewer ask um, a few weeks ago about measuring frequency um, coming out of a VFD. So we're gonna look at that, we're gonna measure frequency, we're gonna measure voltage, talk about filters and stuff, and jump into some of the common measurements you might take with a multimeter um, on a VFD. So let's jump into it. Okay, so we have our tub in front of us and this is the 87.5 Max. I'm turning it on showing you where AC volts is, turn that on and show you where the frequency button is if you want to change your setting to frequency, which we are going to try to measure in this video. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and connect it to the ports on the tub that get the output of the VFD from two different legs because this is a VFD outputting three phase. So two different um, legs or two different phases measuring voltage. I'm making sure that I get the uh, range in the right area so that I'm measuring a voltage that should be similar to that voltage number in the red out there on the back, um, on that VFD that you see in the background. And you can see that the voltage reading in on the multimeter is high. Right now I'm pointing at the low pass filter. You hit the function key, low pass filter turns on, and now the measurement that we're measuring on the VFD and what the VFD says it's outputting is very, very similar. Now I'm hitting that uh, frequency button, that hertz button, and you see 60 hertz. I'm now gonna mess with the VFD to change how much frequency I'm putting out to slow down the motor. And you can see as I slow down the VFD, the frequency is going down to 30 hertz. 30 hertz would be half a 60, meaning the motor is now spinning at half the speed it was when we started because it believes that that frequency, or it sees the waveform as uh, half as slow. So now, um, the next thing I was gonna do is measure DC volts on the DC bus. That's something that you can troubleshoot on a VFD. So I'm taking the test leads, hooking onto the DC bus. This should be a constant, and you can see I have it in volts DC, and now we get 319 volts. Okay, well that's it for today. I hope that was beneficial. I know you guys like watching uh, applications where you're actually using the meters, not just talking about it. So hopefully this video will resonate with you just like the capacitor video from a week or two ago. And if you like it, if you wanna see more like this, give me a thumbs up, leave comments below. If you have specific application questions that I can uh, display for you guys, happy to try to simulate and do that. And if I don't talk to you till next week, have a great week and have a great weekend. Thanks and take care.